If you want to get any of the items in this video, be sure to check out Baiyi, today's sponsor, the website that lets you buy anything from Japan. Baiyi works as a middleman website that allows you to order from tons of Japanese stores like Mercari, Rakuten, Amazon Japan, Yahoo Japan, and much more. If you search by using the Japanese names, you can look through tons of different results for used or brand new items straight from Japan. All prices are even in Japanese yen and American dollars so you can tell how much exactly you are paying. Once you find something that you want from the vast assortments, all you have to do is click it and there's a very simple process to order it. All Baiyi does is request a small fee with each purchase. That's it. From there, the item will be shipped to Baiyi's warehouse, where they'll hold onto it for up to 30 days for free. At any point, you can pay for your package to be shipped straight to you, or you can combine multiple packages and ship them to you as one big package. If you want to use Baiyi for yourself, thanks to them sponsoring this video, there's a link down in the description that will not only let you make your own Baiyi account, but will also provide you with a coupon that provides you 10% off your first purchase. Be sure to check them out if you want a new way to order tokusatsu toys or buy other items straight from Japan. Now let's get back to the unboxing. This is a uh, this is a box I'm very excited for. <laughs> There's um it's been a bit of uh, mishaps with this that I will not get into. So here is the box. This is a thing we can put this aside. This is a big. Thing. I don't know what this- oh no, I think I do know what this is. Box. Box. A box filled with other boxes. Someone also asked about the zombie buckle. I- I'm gonna make a video out of it. Uh, but it is a, a publicly available live stream if you want to see me unbox. Now this thing, I think, is a thing. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. Is a magazine. I bought a magazine. Uh, which you can kind of tell why. It's the Lopo and Nadge Sparrow cores because they released them with this magazine for some reason and it was I mean it was just a cheap magazine so I figured let's buy it so I have this fun magazine now this is like old stuff because these came in like February or December or January Geats hasn't used powered builder yet for a while so oh this is a this is a really cool shot of all the our spotlighted riders here we go two cores these are things that I spent money on that will make Zero new sounds. Oh, the joys of being a Geats core ID collector. Lopo entry form. I don't remember what her pose was like. What? Henshin! It's like getting completely washed out with the light. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it a bit better. Entry Nadge is funny because this is strong enough, apparently, to beat a guy with the monster buckle. I don't know how, how that worked, but it happened. Henshin! So next, I think we'll use this, or open this. I mean, I guess we will be using... Oh, this is... <laughs> this is not what we'll be using next. This is smaller than I thought it would be. This is what we'll use next, then. Or open next. You know what I mean. There we go. This is way smaller. What the heck? And another raised buckle. This is the powered builder. And then I got, I had to go and get the Geats box set, literally just so I could get the three buckles. I don't care about the box, but I wanted the three buckles. So I go with Powered Builder. I don't think mine came with a secret core. <laughs> what? Oh, there we go. It, I did drop it. False alarm, we're all good.
attention. Yes, I would, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the worst jingle in Geats, in my opinion. It's just, he asks a question. Thank you, this is so cool. At the very least, put in a ready fight, like a, a, a nothing. Now we can do these things. What order, what direction did I go? Is it down? Sword slashy sounds. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot there's a different walk. We use blaster. It doesn't say he got blaster. I wish they did something a little bit different where it goes nothing, hybrid, all might. Maybe just, maybe it just cycles through. Like after you go to all might and you put in another one, now it cycles back to just, it would have just said Gigant blaster. And it was kind of annoying. Like if I want to get any of these, if I want it to say any of their names, now I have to just de-transform. And then transform again. I, love, I do love the idea of having like this super armed buckle with little armed buckles you take off so you could use it in this. These then don't do anything like outside of it. Logically, you probably wouldn't be using these in here anyways. But I don't know, like especially because there's like a, it's a sword and there's like a dagger sound in the driver. So it could have been cool if this activated the dagger sound. But like as a gigant buckle to sword because daggers are small and swords are like bigger daggers. That's my scientific explanation of weapons can't can't activate it it's just there however one thing that i do really love about this as a toy It's super unique that we have this buckle that like, like Geats has used everyone else's main form buckles. And I think it's super cool. We've got one where when Geats uses it, it changes a little bit differently. And like the jingle is different than when Seeker uses it. Oh, they put the buckles in the box. That explains the size. Hey, Ada, I appreciate it. I don't remember how she said it. Whee. These are weird. Like I didn't think we would get something like this. Like, especially in the show. Like, he just pulls the Magnum one out of his ass. It's like, where did it, where did it come from? <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's like very weird. Like, I don't know what else they would have done. It, it makes, it's a magnum buckle. It makes sense it would say magnum. I mean, it also lets us do fun stuff like this. Would this be a fever form? Like, it's the same thing up and down, but he's not using the fever buckle. Um, also, it's weird, too, because the, like, the the sounds in the driver are clearly made for, like, this. Like, it's the sound of, like, a zombie hand or something. Like, this is not the sound of a chainsaw. I don't know. It's... So, I mean, like, they have 
unique sound. So it's like, it's cool. It gives us powered builder just a little bit of extra functionality, which is pretty neat. Okay, this thing is the, the buckle for the laser raise riser. Because in a separate box is something. Also, I'm not even going to put together the buckle. I cannot be bothered right now. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I bought this for the cards. It's open this separate box. There you go. Get out of there. This thing. We can use it in this thing. I'm very excited to open this thing. You have no idea. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> we will leave Boost Mark II over there for a second while we play with this thing. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I forgot how the Geats, how Geats is the best toy line, and I just take out a pull tab, and there's already batteries in here. Henshin! I mean, not only have I been waiting to just get this as a toy for a while, but like I was waiting for this thing to appear for a long while because we got the leak of like this existing and I was just like, what will this be? And like when Gene pulled it out for like a second and you could like briefly see it, but we couldn't really see it. It was like, I want to see it up close. And then the way they hid it until it actually like appeared in the show was so cool. Or like they hid it until he used it to transform. Uh, that first transformation, I feel that first transformation of Gene is like iconic. Uh, just for that reason. Also, like, I don't know, the concept of, like, <laughs> the way, like, the concept of this were, like, the ID, like, the ID cores are now ID cards, basically, and, like, to transform, it's basically, like, setting in a buckle. Like, the design and the sounds of this, because it uses the vision driver sound, or, like, the vision driver voice, which is really cool, because it establishes this lore of, like, that's the voice the admin gear uses. And like also too, because this has like the purple ring and like the purple stuff here and the vision driver is purple or has purple elements as well. So like purple's the admin color, I guess, in the game, but buff is also at purple. <laughs> Oh wait, no, he has to sideways. Kicker is this funny, I don't know why. <laughs> I like Kunes. Kunes is a <laughs> nice piano riff. Very nice. Henshin! Yeah! <laughs> One other thing about this that's very funny is that it allows us to do huh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
fight. Wait a second. That's not Magnum Boost. <laughs> In my opinion, I think the, um, the true usage of these little buckles allowing you to use them with Boost Mark II because nothing else fits on it. Fight. Yes. Oh man, this is probably the coolest thing ever. Like as a form is pretty cool. One of the gimmicks for this form is a transformation device for four other riders, which in and of itself, like this, the laser race riser, as I mentioned, I think it's a really cool henshin device. But then the fact it's also just a normal, I mean, not normal, but the fact it's just another raise buckle is insane. There's no other transformation device in common rider that is just like someone else's other gimmick. Like, you know, we have other gun transformation devices like Night Rogue and Bloodstock use the uh, the, whatever, the gun and build. But, like, Sento doesn't stick that in the build driver and transform with it. Within, while we're talking about build, Banjo has the magma knuckle, but that's just a knuckle. It's just a weapon. He can stick it in the driver and transform, but he can't transform with just the knuckle. The closest I think we get is X-Aid, where Kamen Rider Paradox uses the Gash at Gear Duel, to transform and it's a gimmick then he sticks it in the gamer driver a different driver and transforms but like it's it's also still kind of like just a gas chat like on its own and also he's still using it to create another paradox form you can use the laser razor riser on its own to become common rider gene and etc or you can stick it in the driver and just use it as a buckle and then also like then just everything else going on here like the fact the component the other component to it is boost mark 2 so this creates this like super interesting evolution of Geeta's base form where he goes from magnum boost to boost mark 2 and like magnum becomes a futuristic laser gun on its own that can also just become a buckle and then also like the jingle too the fact it uses both voices is absolutely fantastic. Also, like, I'm a bit of a nerd with, like, the way the toys work. So one thing I find really, really interesting is that this does not do anything. I thought they would make it like the other big buckles, like Powered Builder. You stick Powered Builder and it's going to make all the sounds. I thought this would be the same. You stick it on here and it makes all the sounds. But no, it it needs Boost Mark 2. Maybe Boost Mark 2, like, just pushes special buttons in this, which it does. But, like, they don't do anything outside of the belt. So, like, it, it needs to be in the belt. It needs Boost Mark 2. But then if we stick this in, it won't say set up. It's going to time itself to when this the belt says set for this. That's so cool! <laughs> oh, man, that is... I love this thing. I forgot to record an outro, so now I'm coming to you from the future to let you know that you should subscribe because I have more Geats unboxings on the way. So if you like this, you'll probably like those. And of course, if you want to see them early, you can check out my Patreon, also linked in the description. I'll upload the videos as soon as they're done there. Actually, you could probably see the footage early because I might upload it right now whichever you prefer is greatly appreciated so i hope to see you next time thank you for watching